Google cozies up to China with AI secrets in a game of Go. Google's latest effort to thaw relations with China involves an artificial intelligence powwow in a few games of Go. Years after Beijing locked out virtually every Alphabet Incorporated service, Executive Chairman Eric Schmidt and a cotter of mid-level Chinese government officials kicked off a summit in the historic Canal Waste town of Wuhan Tuesday, a rare instance of the search leader working in tandem with the country's bureaucrats at a high-profile public event. Google experts and prominent local academics will exchange notes and host discussions but the centerpiece will be a contest between DeepMind's so far undefeated AlphaGo system and KG, local champion of the 2,500-year-old strategy board game Go. Google's absence from China a country it initially withdrew from amid fears of censorship and cyber attacks remains the biggest gap in its dominance of global search and video. While Android is the country's most popular mobile software and it sells advertising, other services including Search, Gmail, Apps, and Macs are barred by the mainland's firewall. Speculation persists however that it now wants back into the world's largest internet arena, starting with partnerships with local Android app stores or its searchable database of academic knowledge, Google Scholar. It's a pleasure to be back in China, a country that I admire a great deal, Schmidt told assembled dignitaries and industry executives. What you see before you is an extraordinary opportunity to change the world. Schmidt's tone was markedly different from 2010, when Google declared it was pulling out of the country because it would no longer self-censor content for Chinese users something Beijing requires of all media to maintain stability. Officials promptly accused the company of violating agreements made before entering the market. Google also said its systems had been hacked from within China, while Beijing denied involvement. The U.S. giant then began redirecting search users to Hong Kong before the government eventually blocked that entirely, helping competitor Beidou Incorporated solidify its domestic lead. Internet heavyweights make no secret of the fact they want to penetrate the world's second-largest economy. It remains a rigidly controlled regime that bars Facebook and Twitter and makes the rise of domestic champions such as Tencent Holdings Limited and Alibaba Group holding LTD.